today I want to talk to you about a resource I found online that I think will be very useful for you, um, especially if you are a salesman, or if you are a recruiter, or if you're just someone who's out on the road a lot. Uh, today I happen to be on the road uh, running some errands and, and doing some meetings and things like that. And um, one thing I like to do um, when I'm out and about is I like to get to a location early and um, set up my laptop and check some email and do a couple of odds and ends, that kind of thing online uh, prior to uh, my meeting with uh, whomever for whatever reason. And um, there is one uh, website that I go to often um, to find uh, where free wireless internet is. And uh, I want to tell you about it because I think it will be useful for you. Um, as I said, if you're going about traveling here and there and you want something to uh, want to find a place where you can set up your laptop and check your email and things like that. So um, let, me show, let me just show you this site. It's called Hotspotter. And um, it's spelled H-O-T-S-P-O-T-T-R. So it's like no E there. At least I think it's with two T's. I'll double check that. But let me show you what I mean uh, here with Hotspotter. Okay, I want to show you guys this website that I use quite often. It's called Hotspotter. And as you see here, it's spelled H-O-T-S-P-O-T-R uh, dot com, hotspotter dot com. And uh, what this is, is a, a community-driven website that lets free Wi-Fi spots um, all over uh, the country, if not the world. That is what these different push pins uh, represent here. Um, like here in Halifax, Canada, is there list uh, 12 free or pay Wi-Fi spots. Uh, I think here in New York, they got 112. Uh, here in Lawrence, Kansas, uh, 51 spots there. Um, if you are looking for a free place to bring your laptop and just hook up and get some free Wi-Fi, this is the site to go to. Um, in addition to listing different Wi-Fi spots that are out there, uh, you can also see um, different cafes. Uh, typically, the places they, they list here are cafes and restaurants. Uh, so you get a list here of all the different uh, cafes that have been recently added into the system. And, and here are uh, a list of reviews um, of those different spots. Uh, but I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, one thing I like about Hotspotter is that it is ridiculously easy to use. Uh, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to type in here a, uh, a zip code of uh, where I happen to be today here in Atlanta, in 30026 uh, zip code. And then I'm going to uh, hit the search button. And what comes back is a map of the 30026 uh, zip code. And as you may guess, you see these different green push pins. Those are places uh, in the 30026 uh, zip code where you can get free Wi-Fi. Now, not only that, there are also some red push pins that you see here. Those list different places where you can get Wi-Fi, but you may have to pay, well, you would have to pay a fee to access uh, wireless uh, internet in those areas. Now let's say you were curious about um, hmm, one of these locations here. This is for the Java Shop Coffee Company. I just uh, click on that particular push pin. Let me scroll up a little bit and I get a little information about that particular area. Uh, now this one is is uh, about, let me scroll this down a little bit, move the map a little bit so you can see that better. Uh, this is the Java Shop Coffee Company, and it also has an address there. Now, if I want to get a little closer uh, information about the Java Shop Coffee Company, I could uh, click on the link here that says Close Up Map, or I could get the full listing. Uh, the full listing w w is of great interest to you. Let me show you why. Let's click on the full listing link. And what you get back is a close-up map of this particular area, which is, of course, as we said, the Java Shop Coffee Company here on Peachtree Industrial. And what you have down here is, um, again, the address for the location. You can click here for directions on how to get there. Uh, also, other cafes that are near there that have wireless internet. Um, also, uh, you would have here a rating system. Now, no one has voted or rate it rather this particular location yet but if uh, if you're interested and if you're in Atlanta and you want to go to that location and you want to rate it please do uh, you can give it an overall rating of four to five stars you can 
rate the uh, wireless quality, food, drinks, whether it's good enough for working or socializing, that kind of thing. Um, if there's an outlet available, so there's really a, a nice place to uh, find uh, a place to plug in your laptop, you can rate that there as well. So um, this is a pretty cool site. I really like it. Um, let me show you one other thing you can do here. Um, say you, for example, you know of another hotspot that's not listed um, in this area, but you know that there's one, say, right here off Spring Code Drive or someplace, uh, and you want to add it. What you would do is just simply go up here and click the Add a Hotspot button, and that would bring you to this page where you could add in information, um, an address of the hotspot that you know of that's not listed yet in this database. So let me just show you what I mean. I'm going to just sort of do one now. Uh, oops, not there. Let's say uh, I know of a hotspot and it's called the uh, Free Wi-Fi Cafe. Just made that up. And I'm typing in the address for it here. Um, and it's in Atlanta. Oops, my spelling is all, all terribly wrong here. All right, Atlanta, Georgia, 30026. I cite that the wireless is free. It's open from 9 a.m. to midnight. The food there is, um, I don't know, let's go with sandwiches, soups, and salads. Then I can leave a note here that says, um, I hang out here often. Great place to go. And then I can write a little bit something about myself which I definitely would encourage you to do as well when you if when you come to the site and put your information in because not only can you find out great um, locations to uh, log in for free oops my keyboard's a little off here or I think it's my typing uh, not only can you find places here uh, for free but you also can promote your business or, or, or in this case uh, your website or blog what have you and um, people can not only find great places as I just said a moment ago but if they come across a review by you um, that they think is pretty interesting they may want to contact you uh, through your website uh, not by your email because that won't be displayed but say um, someone comes to the site they see your uh, link there and they say you know what this is somebody I may want to network with why don't I contact them and say hey let's meet up at that cafe that you rated recently on Hotspotter and um, let's do business it could happen I really really appreciate this site Hotspotter and here's a list of reasons why uh, for one it helps me out when I want to change of pace as I said earlier I do work from home um, if I am uh, meeting someone I can suggest a location with free Wi-Fi and thereby get some things done while waiting on them to show up. Uh, third, if I am out of town and I am uh, too cheap <laughs> to pay for Wi-Fi at an airport, I can find a free space near the airport and check my email before heading back home all for free. And finally, if I plan on staying a while uh, online uh, outside of my home, I can check the reviews of Hotspotter users and pick a restaurant with at least some decent food and great service. Well, that was Hotspotter, and as you can see on the screen, I put the correct spelling up for your convenience this time. Um, I'm almost at my destination, so I'm going to log off here. Um, but I hope that you take Hotspotter as a resource, add it to your bag of tricks, because um, as I think you uh, may have noticed from the demonstration, it is quite useful. So, uh, till next time, I'm Jim Stroud, and I'm still living on.